In 2008, Formula One cars grew a fin. Not for style. Not for sponsors. But to tame the air and stabilize the beast. This is the story of the shark fin, the aerodynamic sail that came, vanished, and came back again. The shark fin is a vertical panel mounted on the engine cover. Its job? Straighten airflow to the rear wing. Reduce turbulence. Improve cornering stability by acting like a wind vane. It helps the car stay planted during high-speed turns, especially when yaw or side slip kicks in. First seen in 2008 on the Red Bull RB4, it became popular in 2009 and 2010 as teams chased downforce. Some even connected it to the F-duct, channeling air through the fin to stall the rear wing. But that's where things got spicy. In 2011 the FIA banned full-length shark fins that connected to the rear wing. Why? They blurred the line between passive and active aero. They created unpredictable airflow. And they were used to feed banned systems like the F-duct. Teams tried truncated fins but the era faded. Until 2017, when new aero rules brought them back. Sleeker, shorter and still controversial. The shark fin didn't break the rules, eh? It bent the air. And while fans debated its look, engineers knew. It was a stabilizer, a flow manager, and a subtle weapon. Love Formula One tech that sliced through the air and stirred up the paddock. Hit like, follow, and let's keep uncovering the dark arts of racing.